Ooh-wee, what's going on YouTube? It's Donnie B all day and welcome to Katana Palooza. So I decided that we're going to break out the katanas today. Ta-da! And let me show you what we're dealing with. All right, so this is my katana collection. All right, there's a couple pieces in there. You might have noticed. Some of them are boken, right? So you have two classic wooden boken wrapped. You have the cold steel polypropylene um, boken. This is not a boken. This is the cold steel katana machete. The only other uh, boken is the uh, tanto boken, the practice boken. Um, here we have an aluminum handled um, katana that I made. This is a D-bad katana. Um, and then we have some tantos. Uh, and three of them are from True Katana. All three are freaking beautiful. The steels go anywhere from high manganese. We got T10. We have um, uh, 10, 1045, 1060, all kinds of stuff. So here, one, two, three, four, and then the practice one. And then the leather wrap right here, which is the United Cutlery Tonto. Uh, then we get into katanas. Um, this one, I freaking love because it's gorgeous and uh the saya is actually ray skin it's a it's a real ray skin wrapped saya which i thought was pretty dope you even have uh, the black ray skin here now of all my katanas that i own this is the only one that came loose right here to where i can hold it upside down and shake it and it can fall out um all my other true katana stuff um, like this one, this one, um, trying to see where all my true katana stuff is, the walkie there, um, this ninja toe, all these, all those are absolutely perfect. I mean, perfect. They're not going anywhere. This is the only one that's loose and I would complain about it and I could say something like, oh man, that's cheap, blah, blah, blah. But got to remember that they have different levels they have entry level stuff and then they have their really high quality stuff i did not grab from them one of their thousand dollar katanas i got entry level katanas which are still pretty pretty dope you've seen the cutting videos between this one and the walkie and they are getting it done i mean as far as can they cut can they be used are they fast dude these are straight up real katanas as far as use and they are battle ready katanas they come sharp they come ready to use um if this one is the only one i have that's a little bit loose and the saya who cares i mean it's me who who chose to get entry level um they didn't send me a thousand dollar sword with a loose um scabbard so you know i gotta gotta keep that in mind so so that's the only one i have that has a, a loose saya so then we have this katana which is part of a set this is probably my oldest set that i have and then oh derek pontier the knight and he's gonna pick up a katana and probably ruin things so so uh so then we have my gold leather wrapped katana from true katana that is just awesome this one is from true katana and the, there's a reason i got it everybody remembers highlander from back in the day when mcleod had his in the second movie he started carrying a dragon handled katana and they became all the craze it's starting to rain that sucks um they became all the craze everybody wanted a dragon handle this is not the same dragon handle same same style but his was like white and, and it was different um but this has a different kind of fitting into it but what separates this one from a lot of the others is this is more of a d-bad style the blade is so fat this thing is heavy that's a heavy sword that's not your true katana it's true it's made by true katana but it's not true katana also you see here we have the tiger and the dragon right so hold on a second the tiger and the dragon so when i saw that one i thought to myself well that's a must buy i mean i have a tattoo of what the meaning of this sword so then we get into the other two katanas that I have here, right here. This is a very, very old one. This is the only one that's all loose and beat up. Um, everything is shifted on it. 
but it's because that thing has gone through hell. I have used that for a good amount of years and I just beat on it. So then we get into um, Ninja Toes. Some people call them Ninjatos. Um, it's all in how you, how you look at it. That is a Ninja Blade, which means there's no curve. It is straight down the line. Most commonly, you're gonna find hand guards like this, right? And they're gonna be that, and usually a lot of times it was, oh, you could take it off and it's a Chinese star. No, no, it's made for close quarter combat so you could punch somebody in the eye with it. Um, but that's what these are, that's what this is. Um, this one is a true katana piece and my very first ever love for katanas came when I saw a bamboo katana and it was similar to that except without the end caps. It was just a piece of bamboo, it looked like a walking stick, but it had a katana inside. I was very young when I saw it and I said, holy crap, that's cool. Um, when I saw this one at True Katana, I said, that is a must. I mean, this one brings me back. It's got, it's got the bamboo. Um, it's hand carved. It's gorgeous. Then we have the Wakazashis. Um, you guys have seen this. This one, it did. It had an amazing cutting video. This is part of my, obviously, my, my triple set. Um, it is cool. And then there's this last one right here. And what makes this one so special? Let's figure it out together. Ooh, I had to turn you around. Turn you around. So, this one is a double blade. Woo wee! So, um, so that's what makes this one so cool. It's just unique because it has two blades and it goes together. And you have to get it in. There's, there's, it can, it draws really fast, but it doesn't go together really fast because you got to line them up. But it's, you know, it's a typical Joe. Um, and it's cool and I saw it a long time ago. It's hand carved bamboo with the double blade and I thought that was cool. Speaking of blades, let's take a look at some of them. You saw this one, it's got the brush timon line which means not a true clay tempered. Um, there's that. That one I believe was 1060 steel somewhere in there. These ones right here um, are a stainless steel. The entire set is a 440 stainless um, they were a cheap set. They didn't come sharpened when I initially got them, but they are pretty sharp now. Let me tell you, this was like a uh, a hang them on the wall or put them in your uh, put them on a sword stand, three sword collection kind of stuff that you find in a mall. Um, this one, high manganese. It's got the blue blade. It's the it's the brushed um, the brushed himone and holy Moses! I love this freaking walkie. I mean, I love this walkie so i don't remember all the steels on all of them um what i do know is that this thing is awesome i can't remember if this is high manganese or if this is t10 this may be manganese or 1045 or 1060 one of the, one of the four but it's sweet this thing is awesome it flows so very nicely it's got a lot of um it's one of the high carbons because it comes completely coated. So that's that one. Now these are Damascus from United Cutlery. These are the Shinwa stuff. And you can see by the, I don't know if you can, you could pick it up all the scratches right here. But I was using these because I thought they were really cool. Both these Ninjatos, they're a little heavy, a little bit, but man, they swing really well. They took a beating without um, bending or denting. Um, they're really cool. So this one is obviously the gold Damascus. And these are the ones that come, you can get them pretty cheap from United Cutlery. And then this one is the orange, like reddish color um, Damascus. And they're really cool blades, man. They're fun to mess around with. They're a dime a dozen. So, I mean, they're, they're under 200 bucks. So it's like, okay, I, I can beat it and not worry. Um, this one I had handmade for me in Seki City a long, long time ago. This thing is oxidized. I might just do a full, um, I might just do a full redo on this. Um, but it was made for me in, in, in Seki City, China. Um, and it was really, really cool, man. It was the first katana where I picked how I wanted it. I picked what I wanted for, um, for parts, but it's not very, it's not a great sword. It's a good sword. The steel held up. I mean, I, I beat the living snot out of this sword and it's held up pretty well. So I can't really say anything bad about it. Um, everything on it is loose, 
but this thing has literally been used a ton. So then we have this one, and I, I picked up one from, um, what do you call it, Cisco, for like 50 bucks, and I don't know if it's this one or another one. One of them is, I think it, it may be this one. I don't know, there's two of them that I have that are really close, and uh, but both of them have held up to use, and they do pretty good. It's well balanced, it feels good. Um, I'm not sure which one is which, but it really doesn't matter since they're all in the collection anyway. And it would be either that one or this one. And I mean, I really don't know. I don't know which, I think it was, beats me. Beats me, honestly, I, I this is this one's really nice and light. This is actually a really nice, so I think this one is knotted. I think this one is much better than that one. So I'm assuming that is the one I got from Cisco Dirt Cheap. Uh, this one is really, really sweet. The Suba on there is just gorgeous, man. It's really cool. So there's that one. Um, really nice. It's got like this speckled looking scabbard. Uh, Sai, I, I think that's really, really cool. All right, so getting into the last of the cheapies. As far as katanas, I have part of the three set, and of course, I sharpened it personally. I took that thing and made it a cutter. And you know, what I might do. I might have to hit like a, a water um, gallon with one of these cheap ones to show that you can actually sharpen yourself one of those cheap ass blades from the mall a cheap katana and you can actually use it and i'm going to show you that i'm going to prove it that's what we're going to do all right so now we're going to look at the blade on the fighting dragon this dragon tiger now this one is a clay tempered himon you can see that and look at how freaking big this blade is man it is a big heavy sword this thing is i mean you when you spin this thing it wants to keep going normally katanas are fast Woo! This thing is going to be fast in the swing, but not in the recovery. This is this is more of a showpiece for me, even though it's completely um, battle ready. You'll notice it has two fullers because there's so much room. There's so this blade is so wide, um, but this thing is just crazy cool. I got this one just because of the tiger dragon. You can see, hopefully in the sun, it's a metallic paint job. It's done really good. It's an airbrush tiger on there. It's really, really nice. When you're talking about a, a, a katana for the price it is on True Katana, they're priced right. And uh, this thing, the handle is really comfortable for a molded handle. It's really, really sweet. But um, there's just something about it. It's kind of tacky and cliche and all that. But, you know, it matches, the, uh, matches my tattoo. So I'm going to roll with it. I'm going to roll with it. I like it. I like it. It's cool. So now you guys have seen this one. Whew, man, the Damascus full gold leather wrap katana. I did a cutting video with this one. This is a true katana sword. This thing can hit, man. This thing is fast. It's balanced. It's beautiful. This is a really sweet, really, really sweet katana. I forgot the dogs were out. I'm glad they're both right here. So now we're going to get into the only one that's loose. And if I plunge it all the way down, it holds. If I shook the hell out of it, it's going to open. But you wear a katana this way, not this way. So honestly, does it really freaking matter? No. Um, but look at this. This is this is the bread and butter on this sword. Look at this Himon. Golly, is that pretty or what? Holy crap. This is probably one of the nicer Himons I have ever seen. It is, gosh, this thing, look how smooth this is. Golly, I'm not swinging it, I'm just dropping it. I'm letting the sword do the work. Man, this thing is so freaking nice. But what gets me is they I, they did the same thing on that white and blue. Look at how the Saya is, it's 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 two. It's, it's blue with brown on one side, brown with blue on the other side. And the way they fold it, man, it just looks so nice. And the fact that this, scabbard is wrapped in ray this one just did it for me but man that himon golly that himon is nice and if, and again it's the only one that's loose but here it is it's upside down unless i'm riding a horse with this thing upside down or running a marathon what do i have to worry about if i'm jogging like this and it's in 
it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere, and it's and it's what like two, three hundred bucks, less than three hundred bucks, somewhere in there. Um, which means entry level katana. Normally, you're going to spend for a regular good katana, you're going to be spending, you know, five hundred to a thousand plus. Not with this guy. This thing is pretty sweet. It's beautiful. This, that's one of those ones where um, normal people don't use them. They just collect them. So let's get into the Tontos. Oh, wait, one more katana. One more katana. It's kind of a cross between a katana and a walkie um, because it's the one I made. Where I'm not going to have to pull out the um, the uh, the Bokens or the uh, cold steel machete. We all know what the machete is. Um, but this one obviously holds a place for me because I made it my aluminum handle katana. I love this thing because it's fun. That's all it is, it's fun. It's sharp and it works. All right, so um, getting into the Tontos now. This one, the Tonto that came in the set, um, again, um, like, like the rest of them, I sharpened, I gave it a nice edge. Um, it's gonna work, it's gonna cut no matter what, it's gonna cut because I sharpened it. But it's 440, it's a cool little sticker. Um, it's not bad. I'm gonna do a video with one of these katanas. I'm gonna, I mean, uh, one of these tantos, and we're gonna, I might pick one of the budget ones. I might actually use this one, which I'll show you right now. The one from, uh, from uh, United Cutlery. It's Damascus, it's cool, right? It's just a cool little tanto, leather wrapped. Um, I might use this one and go against a budget buoy and do a budget versus budget like can I use a budget Tonto versus a budget buoy? Because think about it, the Tonto was their buoy, right? It just was, if you needed a camp knife, that's going to be it. That's going to be the one. So, and this one has a, you know, it's got the leather scabbard with the, with the belt hold. So it'll be a good versus versus buoy. So we're going to, uh, we're going to do that. We're definitely going to do that. So I got that one there. I put it back the way it was. So then we're going to talk about this one right here. This is another true katana piece. Um, and look at this. Look at this. It's got it's got a clay hamon, right? It's it's a real clay tempered hamon, and um, it's really cool. But what they do is then they paint. They paint like they do this black, and they this is polished. But then they do a silver line, a silver paint line. And I don't know if it's going to pick up, but it's actually really really nice in person. Um, it's like a pinstripe, and uh, when you look at like the two tones and all the, the decorative pieces on this. It's really, really well done. The scabbard, the saya is really, really nice. Um, it's really freaking light, man. This thing, this thing is light. This thing is an absolute fighter. Um, and I just chopped my sweet, um, my sweet, please don't chop me, um, uh, wakizashi. Um, but this thing, man, it is so freaking sharp it is sharp sharp really really nice so i like this one this is another one of those those pieces where if you don't plan on using them this will look really good hanging all the ones from um, true katana are they're battle ready but they're made for looks right so you can use them but they're made to impress people this one is a really cool tanto so you see this fuller right here and then it has this swedge that goes almost to the tip but the tip is left fat. Look at that, man. That is so sweet. They did a great job on this one. I'm not sure if this is high manganese or if this is 1045, but you can see that it has gold leather wrapping. You have a uh, red saya. You have gold, um, gold wrapping here to, to obviously match. Um, everything about this is just kind of really unique. It's cool. I love the swedged front. It offers a good amount of speed but then you have that nasty, nasty strength and tip right there, um, which is which is actually really cool. And again, battle ready piece. It's the blade can take a beating no matter what. Um, but it's one of those one of those katanas or one of those tantos that if you put it in a stand, people are going to say, "Wow, that's really nice." And that's that's the best part about true katana is they make things to impress, but that can still be used. You know what I mean? First and foremost. It's, it's an impressive looking blade. Look at this one, man. This one really did it for me. It's got the silver with the gold. It's got the white with the ray. It's got the double colored um, wrap. It, everything about this, I love the speckled 
Saya. I mean, everything about it. Oh, I still had the plastic in there. Um, and it's got an amazing, true, real clay tempered Himone that, I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's it's a hundred percent, one hundred percent beautiful. It's really hard to see, especially with all the uh, the uh, what do you call it stuff I have on there, the oil. But man, look at that! I believe this one's T10, and it is phenomenal looking. This is one of the prettiest tantos I've ever seen in my life. It is just gorgeous. So, Katana Palooza. We'll give you another look at them. Another look. And here we go from Boken to Machete to Handmade to Tontos to really beautiful, fully functional uh, katanas to some cheaper katanas and then some Ninja Toes and some really functional pieces here between the Ninja Toe and the Wakazashi and then a Wakazashi that came cheap, a, a cheap mall one that is now made functional and we're gonna prove it and then we have the double blade so what we need to do now we need to get out the jug and we need to make a cut so hold on all right so this is what we're gonna do we have the jug and I'm gonna use the cheap mall um, wakazashi that came unsharpened 440 steel one of these made in China cheapo deals that people say, oh, don't ever buy one of those. It's just a cheap piece of crap. You can't do anything with it. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. If it's really cheap, then things will separate and it won't be good. If it's able to be used, then it will still be good. So we'll figure it out right here. So that thing was clean, man. That was freaking clean. 440, hand sharpened by yours truly. And holy crap, was that clean. So what I wanna do is I'll use, let's see. We're gonna use the red one with the gold and the really cool looking um, thing and see if I can hit this without hitting the grill because <laughs> you guys are on the grill so let's see if i can actually use this to hit that without hitting anything else oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> that went flying so it cut exactly where i hit and then i didn't go all the way through i only hit it from here to here so i got wet but it cut why because it's sharp how sharp that sharp did you hear that little flick listen 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 <laughs> that is so nice gosh so anyway that's katana palooza uh it was basically just to show you so um next what i'm gonna have to do is um i'm gonna do the tanto verse buoy video and we are going to see if a Tonto can hold bones or if a buoy can hold bones with a Tonto. Um, obviously, a buoy should be better at chopping, but a Tonto is going to be better at stabbing, things like that. And uh, we're going to put it together and we're going to figure it out. So, man, that there is a whole lot of katana na 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 na. Very, very cool. That was fun. I actually, um, I actually like that, man. I like playing with the katanas. So who knows? Maybe I'll get out and just cut some stuff. All right. I'm Donnie B. All day. Till next video.